Since Ghana was the country where we had done most work over the last number of years, we would attempt to have a five-year programme to rebuild schools uh, in Ghana and use ESB volunteers, members of Electric Aid, who would go out and, and do the work. Uh, what we wanted was a school in bad shape, uh, a school in a relatively poor area, and we also wanted one in the capital Accra where we could manage the logistics. When we looked at the, the project that we eventually picked in Teshi, I mean, it was a refurbishment, but it was in an awful state. The um, roofs had to come off, the, no windows, uh, no electricity, no water. So the next step for us then was to get volunteers, and uh, that turned out to be relatively easy. <laughs> Well, lads, we're just after arriving on the job today, after coming all the way out from the Emerald Isle to this beautiful land of Ghana. Dennis? Yes. Dennis, what's your full name, Dennis, for the police? <laughs> uh, Dennis Mulcahy. <laughs> and how are you feeling about the whole thing, Dennis? Uh, looking forward to getting started. Just looking at conditions here, it seems to be pretty run down, so hopefully we can... So do you think we might fulfil our task out here at the end of the day? No doubt about it. We're going to do it. I'd say by next week we could probably be well into our second building. And what brought you out here, Dave? Uh, I came out on two airplanes. There was an airplane from Dublin, which landed in uh, Heathrow, and then we had to walk to the next one, which was in a different terminal, and we came out by another plane here. So there was two planes brought me out here. And here we are now into day four. And the lads are looking, I don't know whether they're looking well or what. What's up, lads? What's the story? What? The stomach's in bits. Why, what happened? Oh, whatever it was, we had for lunch or something like that. Can't keep batting down. No, it's just, everything feels horrible. Jeez, you're very tired. You're nearly as white as your short Tara. Yeah, I'm bad. I mean, it seems to be wiping the crew out. You want to see Dennis? He's lost an awful lot of weight. He looks off. Where is he? Is he around? He's just, just there walking behind us. Behind us? Where is yeah. he? Hold on, where is he? I think he had the shit. Jesus, Dennis lost an awful lot of weight. Holy Jesus, Dennis. I'm going to move out here. I love it. You love it out here? What, what's the track you hear? Because one guy told me I was pretty. You won't get that back in Dublin. If a baro de dia do, come and pony come, pony pony come, pony dia te, ye lili dia do. There's a block over there behind you if you want to zoom in, Brandon. Just give you the rundown. That's actually complete. That is complete. And uh, what basically happened to be going there now is just there's desks and that. Take out the desks and it's just a clear sailor on the floor. But all the walls, woodwork, the lot's finished. And that's what they're going to be looking at now for the new accommodation for the skill. So you're a proud man? Well, I'm very proud. And it's great to be Irish. Fair play to you, man. Shuggy our law. <laughs> <laughs> Some changes, everything's just coming together, really. It looks like a proper school and a proper kind of, you know, proper setup here all together. They're after levelling off everything, the trees are all taking care of everything. Nice, lovely. So you're a proud man? Yeah, definitely, proud man. So you, will you go home a happy man? Ah, oh, yeah, sad to leave. Okay, Dave, well listen, we'll see you later. Cheers. Where? In the pub. All right, okay, grand. All right. <laughs>
in the massage parlour where we get all our wounds and aches taken out of us. And then we get a foot massage. Uh, I'll probably get a facial and I'm just getting some of the hairs on the back of my neck trip. Okay? Oh, it might make you look better already. Right. Fully de-haired. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. I'm gonna go back to work. See okay. you then. Bye. And here we see the chief executive finally doing a bit of manual labour. Something that probably any chief executive in all the history of the USB has never done before. There's a busy man there, Brian. Yeah. You looking forward to it, Brian? Uh, yeah, this is what it's all about. Excellent. And listen, will you go back happy? I'll go back happy, but I'll go back a different person, so I will. Changed your life, has it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, but really um, changed your life about it. Just uh, an experience of, you have so little, and they have a lot to give. They, you know, we have everything we need at home. Always want more. Right, well, let's Thank do the honour. Okay. Right, Thanks very much, lads, for giving me the honour. One, three, two, three. Yeah. I think that we did a great job, and the people who went out, you know, worked really hard. And for the two weeks that were there, they worked, you know, night and day to get the project finished. What even amazed us is that you contributed. Okay, then coming down yourself to work. Change the beat. all the time it, 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 the place normally there was nothing like that first there was no window no ceiling and the building was in a very deplorable state but they came and refurbished and put it in a modern way for us now the school has become a property for the community the school remains for whoever comes in and the benefit goes to the children of the community. We were spending about an average of about 250,000 to 300,000 on each school and the difference was absolutely phenomenal. So much so that the Department of Education in Ghana had said that the schools that we had done were a better standard you know of school accommodation than their universities and I think that was a great source of pride for us and for, particularly for the people who had been involved in it. From the furthest corners of Ireland they heard a rallying cry. Who'll march with me, said the hero. Volunteer, and I'll tell you why. So from Dublin, Tip, Leitrim, Roscommon, Cork and Galway too, from mountain and glen came brave young men, prepared for what they must do. To Ghana, my men, said McCarty, our weapons will be our tools. We'll battle the heat, and sickness we'll cheat, and by Christ we'll build these schools. Mm -hmm.